Welcome to the Sand Science Experience, your source for the most current and impactful research and preprints in science. Please like this video and subscribe right now. It, uh, it truly helps support the Sand Science Experience. Today, we're diving deep into a really groundbreaking scientific paper. It's all about cellular cleanup and, well, aging. So let's unpack this. Imagine, you know, a diligent crew cleaning up a waste inside every single cell in your body. What happens if that crew suddenly becomes uh, severely understaffed? Well, what's really fascinating here and what this new research shows using a pretty unique mouse model is how it directly links this impaired cellular maintenance, specifically a process called autophagy. Autophagy, right. Directly links that to the organism's overall lifespan and its health. Yeah. It's a very clear connection they've found. Okay, so our deep dive today is focused squarely on autophagy. Let's just quickly define that again. Think of it as your cell's own internal uh, recycling center and cleanup crew. Exactly. It's how they break down the old stuff, the damaged parts, unwanted waste, basically keeping everything running smoothly inside. And it's absolutely <laughs> vital, yeah, for Oops. healthy cell function. Oh, absolutely critical. And key to this whole process are these um, specialized enzymes. They're called ATG4 proteases. Think of them like molecular scissors. Molecular scissors, okay. Yeah. And in mammals, like us and mice, there are four main types. ATG4A, ATG4B, ATG4C, and ATG4D. They prepare these other key proteins, mm -hmm. uh, specifically the MATG8s, which are absolutely essential for autophagy to even happen. So they sort of get things ready. Right. ATG4B is really crucial for picking off the process, initiating it. And then ATG4D, it sort of handles the recycling at the very end. Got it. Now, here's where this research, for me at least, got really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. The researchers, they genetically engineered mice to be ATG4A only, which means they actually managed to eliminate ATG4B, ATG4C, and ATG4D all at the same time. Simultaneously, yes. It's quite an experimental setup. You'd think that would cause just, well, total chaos, right? Maybe even early death. You absolutely would. That's the logical assumption. But quite surprisingly, these mice actually survive through their embryonic development and, you know, the neonatal stages just after birth. Wow. Which suggests that ATG4A all by itself must have some unique, maybe limited, but definite role. It kept them going, at least initially. Okay, but initially is the key word there, I'm guessing. Precisely. Because despite that initial survival, these mice showed a... Uh, a profound systemic reduction in their autophagic activity across the board. So the cleanup wasn't really happening properly. Not nearly enough. It turns out ATG4A's activity is largely limited. It can only really process one specific type of that MATG8 protein we mentioned, Gebero PL2. So other crucial ones, like the LC3 proteins, they were left largely unprocessed. What does that mean? That means you get a significant, really problematic buildup of cellular waste products. Things like P62, SQ, STM1, and other proteins tagged with ubiquitin for disposal. They just accumulate. They start forming these toxic aggregates inside the cells throughout the body. So the trash is piling up everywhere. Basically, yes. Which, of course, raises the really important question. What were the actual long-term consequences for the whole mouse when this cleanup crew was so, so badly hampered? And the consequences sound pretty stark, leading to, well, accelerated aging and dramatically premature death. Is that right? That's exactly what they found. Their median lifespan was just 133 days. 133 days compared to what for normal mice? Compared to over 800 days for the control mice in the study. Wow. That's that's like condensing a whole life down into just a few months. It's drastic. It is truly drastic. And these mice, they rapidly develop multiple features that you'd absolutely characterize as advanced aging. Like what specifically? Well, severe motor impairments, for one. Things like ataxia, that's uncoordinated movement, and limb clasping reflexes, a sign of neurological decline. They also saw significant organ damage fibrosis, which is like scarring in the kidneys, lungs, and heart, and severe bone loss, very much like osteoporosis in humans. Okay, so physical decline across multiple systems. Yes, and if you connect this to the bigger picture, their metabolism, their hormones, things like reduced leptin levels, which signals satiety, and elevated growth hormone. These profiles strikingly resembled what's seen in human prodroid syndromes. Those are the conditions where people age incredibly rapidly, right? Exactly. So this whole picture, this cumulative systemic decline, it's all being driven by that reduced cellular cleanup, by the faulty autophagy. And they also showed clear signs of increased inflammation throughout the body and more DNA damage accumulating, both of which are you know, classic hallmarks of physiological aging. Well, this research offers a really powerful, almost undeniable conclusion then. 
It seems the level of our cellular cleanup, the efficiency of this autophagy crew, mm -hmm. it directly dictates not just how long we live, but also how healthy our tissues stay, how robustly everything functions. That's the core message, yes. The competency of autophagy is directly linked to health span and lifespan. Which leaves us, and you listening, with a really compelling, maybe even provocative thought to consider. If a reduction in this essential cellular housekeeping so dramatically speeds up aging and decline, could strategically boosting autophagy, enhancing that cleanup crew, yeah. could that offer a real therapeutic pathway towards a healthier, maybe even extended human lifespan? That's certainly the tantalizing possibility this kind of research points towards. Food for thought indeed. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest scientific breakthroughs. Thanks for joining us on the San Science Experience.